Welcome to Electron Online, and now since we have proven the sine of A plus B, let's try to prove the sine of A minus B, and the technique is exactly the same. We're going to start with the co-function identity right here, and so we realize then that we can write this as the sine of X being equal to the cosine of pi over 2 minus X, and now we're going to let X equals A minus B, and so this then becomes the sine of a minus b is therefore equal to the cosine of pi over 2 minus a minus b. And so we can come over here and we can then write that this is equal to the cosine of pi over 2 minus a minus b, which then we can write as follows. We can say this is equal to the cosine of pi over 2 minus a, and minus times the minus becomes plus b. And now we've changed it into the sum of two angles and the cosine function of that. All right, so this then becomes equal to the cosine of the first angle, pi over 2 minus a, times the cosine of the second angle, b. And since there's a plus here, this becomes minus the sine of the first angle, which is pi over 2 minus a, times the sine of the second angle, b. And then we realize that the cosine of pi over 2 minus a is simply the sine of a. So this is equal to the sine of a times the cosine of b. And the sine of pi over 2 minus a is simply equal to the cosine of a. So th this becomes minus the cosine of a times the sine of b. And then if you look at this and you look at that, it looks exactly the same, which means that the sine of a minus b can be written like that, and we've proven it. And that's how we do that.